So, Gustav, you have built one of the best versions of the Utopia deck that I've seen that is playable in current version of MR4. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, we say best, but I think it's highly consistent and it's gonna, you know, help you get through the game, at least. Yeah, from what I've seen, it's really, really good. Do you want to take us to the deck profile? All right, so first of all, Three New Beer of the Primal Being is mm. just a good, like, ward board wiper. And with the strategy that I've developed, the token that you summon to your opponent's field is actually an advantage to you. Yeah, it effectively uses Nibiru. It's you, you. You can search it, and like you can actually use it to advance your game state, right? Yeah. More than just being a hand trap. Yeah, it's like so you summon a token, like wipe your board. Yeah. But you like. It also does so much more for the yeah, deck. Yeah. Which I'll show you later. Nice. Then three utopic. Onomatopoeia, whatever it's called. Yep. It's basically. You can flip them around so we can see them uh, oh, yeah. for the camera. Just like that. Thank yeah. you very much. So basically, it treated as all the four main archetypes of the Frank Four Utopic deck. Yep. So it works with the new support that I'm going to be showing you right now. Awesome. So for example, we have three of do 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 dwarf go, 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 go. <laughs> the weirds are all name, but they're yeah. really really useful together with this. So. This, this is a new card, right? Yeah, these two are new cards from Oh, these are all new cards. Okay, yeah, yeah, so this one can special summon from special summon from the hand. Yep. And this one can also special summon from the hand. It also special summon from the graveyard, and this one also special summons from the graveyard. Okay. So basically, you just reuse the graveyard, and because this one is treated as all the four archetypes, it consistently just helps the deck all the time. All right, so you always have access to your rank fours. Basically. Yeah, yeah, and it gives resurgence as well, so you can continue using them even though they've hit the grave. Yeah, exactly. Turns afterwards, yeah. Uh, then we have three Dinotherium. I yep. mean, it's just a free special from the hand, so if you have it in the starting hand, there's no for the graveyard. It's usually better going first, right? Exactly. Yeah. But, like, otherwise, it's still just a good summon. Yeah, yeah, cool. Otherwise, you summon it by other means. Like, for example, I have... Three Goblin Berg. Yeah. I mean, it summons a level four from the hand. Yeah, absolutely. What, what can go wrong with that? Yeah, instant rank four. Yeah, and then I play two Gagagote. Mm? It's just, you know, when you normal summon one, you can summon it as well. And it's yep. also chainable with Goblin Berg. So if you have three in the hand, mm. you normal summon Goblin Berg, chain this, and then. You can get three of them easily. You have three monsters on the level four monsters on the field. So. Cool. That's cool. Uh, then I play at least one Summoner Monk. How which, come only one? Because basically, for the most part, I want to not want to have my spells in the hand. Yeah. But for example, if I draw an extra exchange of tactics, I can play that. But then can I use it as cost okay. for Summoner Monk? All right. And then I also play one Gaga Edition. Oh yes, the very nice ultimate. Very runner. nice one. And I, I think I sold you. Yes. <laughs> I play it just for one simple card. But otherwise, it's still in the utopic engine, for okay. sort of say, because it's a ga 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 card. It comes up every now and then. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and then we also have two performage hat trigger. Oh, it's broken, by the way. It's, it's just broken. a free summon on the hand. It's what, what, insane, actually. Yeah. That comes a really powerful card is three Olapat Pika. Okay, so this is a new one as well, right? Yeah, basically what it does is when you activate it, you can search for an Olapat Olapat card. Yeah. Which means you can either search for the field spell or the really good searcher. All right. This card allows you, when you discard one card, you add two of one gaga ga, do, 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 whatever, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you get course. two monsters in the hand. Oh, wow. And you add these with this. Oh. And the other effect then is that you can target one card you control. Yep. Its level is shared with all other monsters on the field. Oh, and so that's when you make... That's why I use Gaga Munition. For example, I use his effect. Yeah. And then call his level 8. Use this, target it. All my other monsters are now level 8. So you can make rank 8 plays. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Right. Then we also have three exchange type tactics. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, help you draw. Yeah, it's a fantastic card. Like, for example, if you go first, yep. you want to do some plays, yep. search for the rank of magic cards, use this. It's basically. But you can only use uh, one of them, right? So it's hard ones, or it's uh, you can only chain one you can to only win summon because they're only win control effects. One. Yeah. So that's why I also play one summon a month. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. let's say if I have an extra one, yeah. I just discard it. Oh, okay, cool. No problem then. Yep. And then I play two different Dragon Magic cards. I oh, yeah. play two Numeron Force and two Astral Force. So this is the one that lets you rank up pretty easily, and this is the one that turns off all the effects, right? This one is when you activate it, if there are other cards on the field, yep. it negates every other card on the field except oh, the one broken. summon. That's insane. And then this one can either get to the hand, whatever, yep. or you use it to go into Utopic Beyond, or you discard it for Utopic Sexo. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Then we have some one-offs. We got Monster Reborn. Yep. I mean, Monster Reborn, we can go wrong with it. Absolutely. Rodat searches basically most of the cards of the deck. Yes. Uh, double or nothing, one. 
I, oh yeah, only one. I ever... tested f more. Yeah. But I feel like that I want to have space in both my extra deck and my deck for other cards. Okay. And I feel it's more consistent that I only have one. All right. Because then I all basically always have access to it. Okay. And then I also play one. Uh, Phantom one Knight Saber, Saber Okay. Because it's, it's treated as a level 4, which means you could go into XC yeah. Spice. Another play. monster. Yep. Basically, yeah. Alright, cool. So what's the extra deck? Then we're gonna start with uh, a Tour Guide. Mm -hmm. no, tour, yeah. Or a Beacon. 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 <laughs> and then Boral Sword. That's basically the only Link monsters you need to play for the deck right now. Okay. Before I had this deck combined with a small striker engine, yep. it was working. But now that I striker is basically dead, yeah, don't need it. So it these makes are all sense. you need. Basically, those are the only two ones. Right. Both link bosses, yeah. Then we got a Galen Granite, basically searching Nibiru, mm. unless you access your place. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Then we have the new card, which is the Gaga Gaga Ga Ga Okay, so what does this guy do? Basically, w once per turn, you can detest an Exhibit Turtle from it, then summon one Exhibit Monster from the graveyard. Oh. And then, but you negate its effects. Oh, but what you broken. do is that if I've already had this in the graveyard, yeah. I summon Gaga Gaga Ga Ga yeah. use its effect, summon this, and then I can go into no number F O zero, Utopic Future. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Which makes it incredibly easy to summon it because oh, yeah. to summon FO0, you need to have a or two Xyz monsters with the same rank. Oh, okay, yeah. Which has been kind of meh. It has been pretty hard during this match rule. Because then they also have to be non number monsters. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. Right. Then we get to three. Utopia. And this is a 3 off. This is a 3 off. This is what the deck is based upon. So yeah. it's basically a 3 off all yeah, the time. Yeah. And then again, as I mentioned, I play one Utopia double. Yeah, only one. Yeah. Okay. But one is enough because this card is just so good. Yeah, okay. Because what this card does is it allows you to go into the next card, which is Utopic Ray V. This is the reason why I want to play Nibiru in the deck. Because okay. basically, let's say I have a Nibiru at your field. Yep. You have a monster with like 10,000 attack points, right? Yeah. Then I use Utopia double to summon this. Mm. Destroy your token, and then you take attack points equal to its attack on the field. Okay. Which means you destroy the token that I just ah. saw on the field, and then I burn you for its attack. Oh wow, and then you can just OTK with it. You all just your OTK stuff. with it. Oh wow, that's really powerful. It's really powerful. Really, really powerful. And then additions to Utopia is uh, Jupiter Grey V. Yep. The lightning and beyond. Okay, so this guy you can make him off of the uh, rank up spell, right? If I just use it, yeah, instead yeah. of discarding. And this one is if you don't want to use double but still want to do massive damage. Yeah. How often does this come up? Uh, it's basically only first turns if I want to continue drawing cards. Okay. Because you basically what you do is overlay it on Utopia double, yeah. not uh, non double, just yeah. normal Utopia, yeah. and then you do this and this. That's two draws. Yeah. So you get an extra cards basically. Exactly. Okay. Cool. So that doesn't hurt. All right. And then the final card is Dingyushu. Oh. Again, because I've access to level 8. Yes. And it's a send monster to the graveyard effect. What can go wrong, really? Very powerful. It can really out some boards. Nice. So. That's pretty cool. And then we have, as I mentioned, yes. F of Zero. It's more of like a fun strategy, but since I have space Yeah, in the extra because deck, you can do it now. With, because I can uh, do it one. easily. I mean, why not? Yeah. And then pretty for cool. the first turn boards, you have, of course, uh, Zexel, my Zexel. favorite card in this deck. He is so cool. Look at that guy. Uh, so how often do you make Zexal, or is it like... Um... I mean, it depends if I can get a rank magic on the hand. If I go first turn nowadays, yeah. uh, if I get a rank magic card, I can guaranteedly make it. Because okay. I at least have like a Link Monster and a Utopia Monster, and then I can okay. just discard the rank magic. Do you, do you aim to go first or second with this? Mostly the second, Okay. but the deck is prepared to go first, in okay. case I you know die, lose dice roll right, or whatever. Cool. So um, with MR5 coming up, or Master Rule 4, 2020, 1st of April, uh, uh, edition, I guess. Um, do you think the main deck is going to change much? Because obviously the extra will with taking out the links, I'm guessing. I mean, I'll probably just take out the beat cop. Yeah. Because I won't need it anymore. Boral well, Sword is still good. Boral Sword is a still good card, okay. so that won't change. But is I'll... the playstyle going to change? Is it going to be more really. spammy? Basically, you'll just continue making level 4, strength 4s, just oh, yeah. continually spam the field. But you don't have to go into beat cop anymore. Exactly. So like, right. instead of going to beat cop, I can instantly go into a Exist monster nice. like Gallant Grenade. Well, thank you, Gustav. We are looking forward to your uh, next list when uh, MR5 hits. That's going to be really interesting to see what you cook up. Yep. And thank you for this deck profile. Thank you.